In this video, I'll be talking about the streaming data set. If you are into your workspace and you go here to new and streaming data set. So you'll see here three options are there through API. You can collect the data. Suppose what happens here that I have a form called customer satisfaction form. If somebody is filling this form, I should get the information into the data set. What this streaming data set will do, it will create an API that can be used to collect the data from anywhere. Any application you can write in Python, you can write the application in C sharp or shell or whatever platform you can use that to collect the data. So I'll be creating the API first and first First of all, I need to collect the data. So I'll say here customer satisfaction survey data. You will be creating the name of the values. For example, I'll take the information from here customer name, and here will be company name, satisfaction level, and this will be in numbers NPS, which is net promoter score. It will be the number here, response time over or satisfaction. This is also number and the quality of work. So these are the parameters. And of course, I want to collect the uh, response date also. And that will be date time. You can see that it has created the API key here. So I'll just copy this and I'll create this data stream here. Now you can see here that stream is created here. So I can get the API information here. So it will show me the API information then I can use it. Now what I can do here is that I can go to the Power Platform. So here is my Power Platform, which is Power Automate. In Power Automate, I'll build my own cloud flow here. So I'll see here automated cloud flow, flow name, customer satisfaction data. If I search for a form, so when a response is submitted, to the form i'll start creating from here i type the name that customer satisfaction survey so this is my first step so what will be next step so there is a form this customer satisfaction form once the response is submitted to this particular form so what i'll do here i'll go here back to the flow again type the forms get response details so which means that whatever has been entered here, I want to get the details of that. So I'll click on here, get the response details. Now this is the second step, customer satisfaction survey. So the moment this information is triggered that customer satisfaction survey, once the response is submitted, then it will get the response data. From where it will get the response data from, it will get the response ID, which is a unique identifier number with the get response code so it will get the response from this form and then what it will do as i have created customer satisfaction data this is the streaming data set which has the api key so i'm not going to use api key here i'll just simply go here and i'll add this step i'll say power bi and now you see it shows me robots for power bi and power bi i'll choose power bi and now what it says, it has many options here. I want to, of course, insert the data into the data set or I want to add the row to a data set. So I'll say add row to a data set. Workspace is my workspace. And what is the data set? So I created one data set only in this work set, workspace, which was customer satisfaction data survey. And what is the table name? Inside the table name, there was a real time data. So real-time data will come into these fields. What will be filled in the customer name? I'll choose the your name as a customer name. What will be the company name? I'll be choosing company name here. What will be the quality of work? How satisfied you are with the quality of work? It will choose the number and overall satisfaction. So I'll search satisfaction here, overall satisfied. So here is the overall satisfied with the and here is response date where i'll be entering the date of submission so submission time fields will be filled here so this is visit again so how likely you are going to purchase our products again which means that he will visit again this is the step that have been created so i'll click on save the flow is ready to go so i'll test this data now so start now submit here all right so response is submitted now let me go back here to power bi data set from here i'll be creating a report now if i go here create report 
I'll get the real time data analytics company name here. And now, if you see here, the test company has started appearing here. So, this is how you can add the data from any API into your Power BI using Power Automate. So, Power Automate is available for free. So, you can use it. And from here, you can use the flow. So, if I go back here to the flows, and here is my flow. And this first flow is created and it is automated. 